good morning. Wait, it's not morning. It's literally 4.18. Um, I'm here with my caramel apple spiced cider. I just burned my tongue on it. It's too hot to drink, but it is very delicious. Even though it's hot, I have to wait. But today, 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 I'm going to make some pumpkin spice latte cupcakes because it is the season. But the real reason I want to do this is because I got these sprinkles from Sprinkle Pop Shop. And you can't see them right now, but these right here, if you turn them around, they're pumpkin spice latte um, sprinkles. So I wanted to make some cupcakes to use the sprinkles. And I just got my hair done. So it's just a perfect day to do this. So, so good. Let's get going. Step numero uno is to preheat the oven to 350. So I'm over here doing that. And I'm halving the recipe today because I do not need 24 cupcakes in my house. So, plus also I only have a muffin tin with 12, so that's what's happening today. Also, I was looking for some really cute like muffin tin liners from Target, like maybe fall colored ones, but no, all they have are these parchment ones or Halloween ones. This is not a Halloween recipe. It's a fall recipe. So, it will have to be boring, so sorry. My battery might die on this camera. I have another battery, I don't know why I told you that. It really was irrelevant to everything. All right, let's do this in a large bowl. Oh, it says set this aside, okay, it's aside. In a large bowl. Let me grab them all. The hardest part of today is going to be remembering that I'm halving the recipe. I've done this so many times where I accidentally start putting the real amounts in and then it's ruined. So I'll post the real recipe below, like the link to it. One cup of flour. Oh, wow, I'm off the screen now. Hello, so sorry. Stand over here. It's on the floor. Piece of a napkin or something. Okay, shouldn't have worn black while baking. That wasn't my best move, but it's okay. Three fourths a cup of sugar. Sets everyone up to comment down below so we can like feel like we're hanging out. I know baking is a science, but I'm not like super accurate in my measurements. It still works out, so. You know, whatever. One teaspoon of baking powder. I don't want to mess this up. Honestly, still to this day, don't know what the difference between baking powder and baking soda is. I know it's an easy Google search away, but I just haven't ever searched it. A teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of baking soda. We mostly use this for cleaning steaks, which is weird because we also eat it. So, oh, that was, I wasn't really going anywhere with that, I guess. Three fourths of a teaspoon of cinnamon. What else? A, te a half teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And then how much salt? Uh, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. I hope I'm like breezing through this. I'm like, am I missing something? Like, am I messing up the measurements? Because I'm breezing through this a little too easily. Let's whisk this up. You wanna watch me whisk it? Oh, I'm not even showing you, cool. It would be cool if I had like two cameras where I could like get a shot overhead of me mixing I guess I could with my phone. Wow, Brogan, you are so innovative. No one's ever thought of this before. Actually, it'd be cool if I had like a photographer, not a photographer, 
a videographer to just like follow me around. I feel like it would probably be a little cooler, but oh well, I don't. Okay, that looks pretty goodly mixed. That is not a real word, but it's fine. Okay, now what? Now what? I feel like I need to put a bunch of this stuff away before it accumulates too much mess. Hello, I have no eyes. Okay, so I'm halving the recipe and it calls for three eggs, which means I need one and a half. I don't even know how to do that. Well, I guess uh, I will just crack one in here and then what? Uh, freaking, I don't know. I'm gonna have to like throw away half of an egg. What the heck do you do with half of an egg? Can you keep half an egg? I'm not even on the screen. Hello. I literally have no idea. I don't even know what I'm. We're gonna wing it. We're gonna wing it. And I say we as in, um, actually it's just me, so I don't know why I'm saying we. As if you guys are cooking with me. I don't know, maybe you are. Maybe you're cooking with me. That'd be kind of fun. Okay, so like, I'm gonna whisk this together. Okay, now what? I just like let half of this go in. Oh! Okay. Sure, but what do I do with a raw egg in a cup? I have no idea. Whisking the eggs, whiskey the eggs. Wow. So beautiful. So very, very beautiful. Okay. Now what? Add in pumpkin puree. How much? So I need half of 15 ounces, so half of a can. So this is, I literally took a teaspoon out of this one day, so this is fine. I'm just gonna scoop half of this in. It'll be fine. <clears throat> Amazing. Did I just splash eggs up on me? Because that is not cool. <gasps> what is half of this? Like that? Sure. That looks good. Now what? This looks really gross. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be whisking this, but... I am. Mmm, pumpkin and eggs. Yum. Okay, there's something like nasty in here that I just need to like take out because I hate it. I didn't like that part of the egg, so not having it. So now what? That was really flat. So now what? Like, what do I do? Okay, a fourth of a cup of coffee. Can this be heated up? I'll just use this. It says hot coffee, but I don't have hot coffee. I have this cold brew coffee. So that is what I'm gonna use. I don't have a fourth of a cup. Are you kidding me right now? Wait, like actually, where would it be though? Do I literally? Uh, I'll just eyeball it. Half of a half of a cup. Wait, no! I need half of that. See, I'm already freaking up. What's half of a fourth? How many tables? Hey Google, how many tablespoons are in a fourth of a cup? 0 0.25 cups is four tablespoons. To convert from okay. cups to tablespoons, so then I need two tablespoons. Cool, thank you. Wait, when I'm really using this giant thing for two tablespoons of coffee. Can you guys even see? I'm literally like blocking everything. Okay, I'm heating up the coffee. And then I need to put nasty instant coffee in it so i need a half of a tablespoon and i stole this from my mom where is it where is it okay for real i just had it are you kidding me right now where the heck did i put it oh. 750 hours later i finally found the stupid instant coffee I accidentally put it in the freaking spice cabinet. So you're supposed to dissolve that into the coffee. And the reason it's in this little jar is because I borrowed some from my mom because I hate instant coffee and I'll never use it and you can only buy it in gigantic amounts. So that's the reasoning for that. Okay, now we can finally move on. Add half and half to the coffee. So it calls for a fourth a cup, so I need two tablespoons as we figured out. I'm asking Google. Didn't want to say it loud because so I didn't want it to think I was talking to it. It's a 
surprised this battery hasn't died yet. Okay, so I'm mixing the half and half, you can't see it, whatever, into the coffee. It looks like this. It's a nice, creamy looking color. And then, and then pour mixture into the pumpkin mixture. All right, sand over here. Can you guys even see what I've been doing this whole time over there? Oh my gosh, I'm a terrible YouTuber. Ooh, that looks not so great. <laughs> okay, let's mix it in. Ew, <laughs> this color is super nasty, but like, look at that. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. Okay, add in oil to wet ingredients. How much oil? A fourth of a cup. Let's see if I can even open this. For some reason, oh. Nice, I didn't do it too tight. Oil, like, I don't even know. It just is hard to open. I don't know where I was going with that anyway. It almost looks like it's like curdling. <laughs> Yum. So whisk till combined. Nice. Whisk wet ingredients into dry until everything's combined. Okie dokie. <gasps> Why does it always happen? It smells really good. <laughs> I wonder if the like coffee flavor will actually come through in them. I'm not sure. Okay, this is what the mixture looks like. Nice sand. Mixed up. Now I'm going to spoon it into the cupcake or the, yeah, cupcake molds. Oh, my battery's gonna die. I'm really glad that I bought these extra batteries. So this is going to have a fourth a cup mixture, but we know that I ran out of fourth cups, so. Well, this is boring. I'm not gonna make you watch me do this the whole time. Time to put these in the oven. Okay. Come along with me. Hey Google, set a timer for 22 minutes. All right, 22 minutes, starting now. All right, that means I have 22 minutes to do the dishes. <laughs> this is very crooked. Has this been crooked the whole time? So sorry if it has been because that means you've been watching me crooked. All right, time to look at the muffins, or the cupcakes, woo, it's hot. Oh my gosh, they look perfect. I've literally never made them where they look so perfect on top. That is exciting. I also don't have any toothpicks, so I'm gonna have to use, let's see, I'll use it on this one, which is like, it came out clean. Ah, I was so excited. I think this is gonna be so cute. Okay, well I'm actually making dinner right now, so I will make the frosting and frost them after dinner, and we will see the finished product. I'm so excited. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Hello, it's time to make the, uh... so I need to beat butter, powdered sugar, and pumpkin pie spice. I need four and a half tablespoons of butter at room temp, which it is, perfect. So that's four. I'm using vegan butter, so hopefully this works good. Wait, I need four and a half. Okay, powdered sugar. So it says two and a half cups, which means I need one and a fourth cups. Wow, I'm good at this. Where's my freaking fourth of a cup? Okay, done with that. <laughs> and then pumpkin spice. One and a half teaspoons, so that means three fourths. Okay, now I'm supposed to beat this. It's gonna get powdered sugar everywhere, I just know it. That always happens. I know it. Wait, what did he, what did he say before that? It's you who has to go, Harry. I know it. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> It's literally everywhere and it's on the lowest setting. I hate this. Okay. Then it says add, turn the mixture up to medium and beat in cream cheese and shortening. So I need three ounces of cream cheese. 
What are you doing? I have to guess because I live, oh, actually I don't have to guess. Wow, easy measuring guide. Thank you. Market pantry cream cheese. Now I know exactly how much. Three ounces. How much shortening do I need? I need a fourth a cup of shortening. I've never used shortening in my whole life. What is this? I literally have no idea what this is. I mean, obviously it is shortening, but. Okay, it looks good. It's like pretty thick. Um, I'm going to taste a little bit. Oh! Oh! That wasn't really supposed to happen. That's good. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm only going to frost three of them right now because I don't really have the store space to store these with frosting on them. I even bought this like piping kit. It's like the Halloween one, but I was like, whatever. Okay, well that one doesn't look good. So we'll try again. Okay, I got mad at that one. So we have one more left to make pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take my time on this one. It's gonna look beautiful. Putting some sprinkles on. It's a mess over here! Look at my cupcake. And it's got the little pumpkin spice lattes on it. Adorable! Okay, we're gonna do a thumbnail. Gonna do a thumbnail. All right, time for a taste test. You guys ever seen the movie Back to the Future where the, they're watching TV at the dinner table and the dad starts going, ah, 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 ah. It's so funny. I'm not getting the coffee flavor. No. But it's a really good pumpkin flavor. And the cream cheese, or the frosting, pairs very nicely with it. Do you like it? That's a good muffin. It's a cupcake. It's a good cupcake. I will rate this. Mm. It's very good. I'm literally eating the whole thing on camera here. I just down that. Mm. I think that deserves a rating of 8 out of 10. Because it was very good, however, it's not something that I would be like, oh my god, I have to make it all the time. So 8 out of 10 for me. I'll give it a 7. Alright, there you have it. They're very good. I'll link it down in the description. It's a fun little festive thing to try. <laughs> okay, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my videos. And I'll see you guys next time.